Hi, Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Perito from Puss in Boots. So let's get started. To draw this cute dog, let's first start by drawing a big curve for the eyes. So I'm going to come right here, come in a little bit, and we're going to go up nice and round. Come over and down. And then at the bottom right here, just going to connect it with a soft curve there then we're going to come right across say about this wide and then we're going to draw the same thing so just draw this curve going up and just going to make sure about the same level on both sides and once again bring down a big curve and connect there so this big curves right here then from there let's come back in here and we're going to draw a circle so right in this space so uh, let's just touch the bottom to make it a little bit easier and I'm just going to draw a really big circle right here towards this bottom corner and then I'm going to come about right here and just draw a highlight and let's shade this all in really big <laughs> I think that's what makes this dog really silly right kind of crazy a little bit okay so same thing over here towards this bottom corner draw this big circle And once again, the highlight right here and shade it all in. So definitely let me know in the comments below if there's other characters you want me to draw from Puss in Boots. I've already drawn Puss uh, in Boots, of course, and Deaf the Wolf. So, and Perito here is number three. Okay, so now that these big eyes in, let's come back to the center in between these eyes and we're going to draw a soft curve for a little nose. Then we we'll round it off and bring it down to a point in the center. There. I, maybe it's, I'm not sure what color his nose is. It's like a dark gray or black, but I'll just shade it in so you can see a little bit better for now. Give it a little highlight right here at the top. Then from there, we're going to draw this oval shape around it. So I'm going to come back to say about right here on both sides and here. And I'm just going to kind of slant down a little bit and then start to curve to draw my oval. So slant down a little bit and then round it off. Flatten it out towards the bottom and connect there and then from there let's just the silly mouth so i'm going to come straight down in the center about right here and i'm going to curve up nice and wide cap it off and then on this side i'm just going to make it slightly straighter well, okay let's just make it slightly straighter and then up not sure if it makes sense, but I really wanted to put in the teeth as well, the tooth and the tongue. So I'm going to come right here and pop in, pop in his tongue. I mean his tooth. Sorry. And then right here we're going to put in his silly tongue. There. Okay. So then from there we can finally frame his face. So let's come back. Um, let's say the center of his eye. He's a really big eye. We're just going to come out a tiny bit center of his eye come out just a little bit about this much and then we're going to come down slight angle and then we're going to start to zigzag a little bit to give him some cheeks so let's come out go right there zigzag a little bit come down and then we're just going to bring it in really shallow so i'm just going to give myself a point say about right here because he has this uh sweater thing going on right so that's really high up so about right there I'm just going to bring a curve to cut it off there kind of like the scarf sweater thing 
So same thing over here. Come down, curve it out, and zigzag, and then bring it in. Nice and flat there. So now I have these really cute cheeks in, and then let's go up. So we're gonna go up, past his eye. So same thing here, go up. And let's go around to create this dome. So I'm just gonna say about, about this high, not too high. So I'm gonna find my center about right here. I'll just give myself a point so I know where I'm headed to. And I'm gonna go up to create the top of the head. And now that I'm this side, let's come down on the other side. Oops, nice and round. There, <laughs> it looks so silly, right? Okay, so we still need to put in this little cat hat that he's wearing. So then from there, um, let's come back into this space right here really close to the eye on this side and this side. And let's find our center again. So let's say about right here. I'm just gonna give myself a point. And from here, I'm going to curve up around his eye and come down. So this is his hat that he's wearing, his little cap, and then up and then down. And then in, let's see here, then let's come right about here. We're going to draw a little nose for our cat, kind of flat. And right here in this area, towards the top, let's draw this big oval for a button for an eye. Come in here with two lines. And then one more on this side, right? So save it right here. Draw another oval. Not too sure what's on this side, but I'm just going to draw X since it's still a button. That way we know there. Okay, so then from there, let's draw some ears. So kind of like in this space right here, I'm going to come out. It's easier for my hand to go this way. So I'm going to come here, round off the tip, and bring down this ear. And then on this side, slightly different ear. It's a little bit more raggedy, so I'm just going to pop this out. Kind of go a little bit straight and wobble my way down. There. <laughs> I think that's how it is. Hopefully I don't have that wrong. And then we need to definitely draw in some of these uh, wiry whiskers to complete the look. So I'm just going to come right here. Just kind of wobble a little bit for the silly hat. There, and then let's give a little curve right here above each eye. And that is pretty much it for Perito's head. Now to draw his body. So once again, we're gonna, um, like I said, we uh, need to draw this kind of scarf turtleneck thing going on. So I'm gonna come really wide, about right here. And I'm just gonna wobble in on both sides. And as I come down, I'm going to straighten out, but I'm just going to still wobble. Wobble. And then about right there, this is kind of like where I'm going to start his legs, his front legs. So let's, let's say about right, let's find my center here and here. I just give myself two points. And from there, I'm going to draw a curve coming down on both sides. So this is the beginning of his front legs. So I'll just bring it down to say about right there. I'm gonna come into the space and cut it off. Same thing here. And then let's come back right here. And draw his little skinny legs, <laughs> front legs. So about right there, pop it out and connect. And then draw two little curves right here for his feet. So same thing over here. Come in. 
and then pop it out and connect and there and then in between whatever space you have left since i'm here i'm just going to go ahead and draw a curve and then on this side we're going to tuck in his little scrawny little back leg so let's say about right here just bring this down a little bit more to about right there and i'm going to curve this in and down and it's going to imagine this coming through right here and so in this space we're going to draw his back leg we're going to curve this in towards this one and pop out a curve and tuck it in there okay so same thing on this side so just make sure you're about the same level about right here curve and then about right there we're gonna curve in just like the other side and once again come down all the way and then pop out the foot kind of silly right and then from there um, we're just going to add a heart right here in the center to make this my draw so cuperito from Puss in Boots and when you're coloring there's this little band of blue right here but I don't want to muddle it with the sharpie but I believe that is pretty much it for this drawing of Perito, uh, the therapy dog for Puss in Boots. I really hope you love how he turned out and I helped you draw him fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.